Okay guys, this is Tony Marine Anderi from Tox Animation. This is going to be a very quick tutorial in which I'm going to show you how to use this add-on. Uh, it has been uh, created by Substance 3D that allows us to bring in motion capture data from Mixamo to Blender without even having to rig the character in this particular case. You don't have to put in the meta rig and uh, rig your character. All you're going to do is export this as an SBX file or OBJ file, upload it to Mixamo, and then Mixamo is going to... Um, uh, you're going to just set up a few settings and then Mixamo is going to rig the character for you. And then you're going to use that rigged character to copy the motion capture from Mixamo and then come back to Blender and use this to generate a skeleton which you can then use for your own animation purposes okay right let's get started so the first thing we're going to do is export to fbx as you see i already have my own but i'm going to just create a new file um we don't need we don't need the amateur here so we are not going to add any lip bones or bake any animation and in this case the only thing that we need is the mesh so export and now once the export is complete we can go to mixamo and uh, see how we can rig this character okay now we are in mixamo as you can see i had already uploaded the character but we are going to upload it once more so that you can see how to do it if you don't know how to do it you just click upload character then go to where you have your FBX file, mine is here, and simply copy it in. Oh boy. <laughs> the same moment. Okay, there is our character again. Now click on next. And now we go ahead and place this settings where they're supposed to be as you can see in the small window up there you can see exactly where you're placing that is the chin uh, this is going to be the wrists just keep your eye on that small box uh, elbows right there knees over there and the groin right about there okay now make sure that you're using the standard skeleton 65 when you use this as you'll see you'll only get three fingers and this character has four fingers so we use the standard skeleton as you can see all the fingers will be rigged and then hit the next key and give it time to auto rig the character Dum -de -dum 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 -dum. I should be playing some music in the background, right? <laughs> oh, sometimes I just like it when you can listen to the person who's talking and not too much music in the background. Anyhow, let's, as you see, it says it can take up to two minutes, but sometimes it takes less. Ah, oh, there we are. Character is now loading, processing, loading. I guess sometimes too many people are using Mixam when the server kind of slows down. At times it's very fast, other times it's just, whoo, it takes forever. Okay, there is our character. And as you can see, there's a preview. It shows you how the character will behave. If you're happy with the way the character is behaving, you can hit next. If you're not happy with the way the character is behaving, you can click on the back uh, back button here and go back and set those points again for the wrists, the chin, the everything else. So let's click on next. The character will be uploaded. Produce, proceed with a new character. That will be not saved. That is okay. And then hit next and let it load. Now... It's time for you to choose the motions that you want, the FBX data that you want. And there you are. Now, like we did in the other 
in the other tutorial just make sure that you know for example the hands are not crossing through the hips and or when they're at the top they're not banging into the shoulders and stuff like that if they are you can now just move this you know play around with this tweak it up the range overdrive to make sure that nothing is crossing and then hit the download button i already downloaded my actions so i'm not going to download them again but for you if you have not downloaded just hit the download button and then we can go back to blender and see what to do okay before we go back to blender i'm sorry sometimes i think too fast eh? um and i get ahead of myself so go to substance 3d adobe plugins mixamo in blender you can also search for mixamo add-on for blender on google and you come to this page and then you click on get the add-on and then select where you will save this add-on i have already done that so i'm not going to download it again but for you go ahead and save it and then we can now go back to blender bring in your fbx install the add-on and then see the fun that we can do with the new rig that mixamo will have created for you okay now fire up a new blender file and um, let's delete the cube let's save the file i'm going to call it bongoman one Bongo Moon 1. <laughs> wow. Bongo Man 1. Save it. Import FBX. And uh, we are going to import uh, Roomba first. I downloaded Roomba and Hip Hop. Import the FBX. And there you can see now it has come because we had downloaded with a skin. It has come in. Now it's time for you to install the add-on. There it is. I already installed it, so I won't install it again. Um, once you have installed it and enabled it, when you hit the N key, you will find it right here. Now select the bone and then say click on uh, create control rig leave everything uh, in the default uh, options and click on ok and there you are you have the mixable rig and if you play it you'll see your character moves very very well now bake the animation so that you don't lose it and if we go to the action editor you find your action there so just save it as this was Roomba okay and then click on this so that you don't lose it when you import another action now import the second one FBX. now we can import hip hop and just follow the same process create a control rig and there you go move this along the x-axis a little bit that way then bake the animation now you can see a new action has been created there name it hip hop and once again give it a fake user there then you can go ahead and delete this and now when you click on this you can come here and choose hip hop and the guy will be hip hopping it is as simple as that and that's why i said this is a very very quick tutorial okay Roomba now you can follow the other tutorial and see how you can mix this using the NLA editor um well let's just do it for those who are not sure about it um let's go to the nla editor click on this to have the roomba there add a new strip add a new track 
above the one that is selected. Hit Shift A and come and pick on the hip hop. Then grab the hip hop, move it just about there, and then hit N. Come here to the strip, look for the blending, and let's see 20 frames how that will work. Hmm. Let's see 10 frames. 20 frames seems to be too much. Let's see 10 frames. Now he's doing the Roomba, but he gets to that point and breaks into the hip hop. Okay. Breaks into the hip hop. If we go to the timeline, this is about, let's say, 159 frames. We go to the timeline. And make this end at 159. 159. Then come to the beginning and play the animation. There he is doing the Roomba and then he breaks into the hip hop. It is as simple as that. Now you know how you can, if you have a character that doesn't need any special expressions or you have a character with a face but you know you just want some action sequence that doesn't need a lot of facial expression this is the quickest way to do it okay so please do subscribe and uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial thank you very much for watching now a little while back i had uh, announced that i would be having a tutorial for how to model any kind of head using a specific flow of uh, vertices, all the vertices in my heads, all the heads that I've ever modeled, they have the same number of vertices, unless now uh, the, vertex, the, vertex, the vertices number could change if I have to add the details, for example, if I have to add an eyebrow somewhere here, uh, make some creases along the cheek lines for an older person, uh, you know, that kind of stuff. But for the basic, um, the basic shape of the head, I usually use a trick, and I'm going to prepare the head tutorial very soon. So please subscribe, and uh, you'll be able to see it as soon as I publish it. As you can see, this head, I'm using shape keys, but that means that the shapes, all these uh, shapes, have the same number of vertices. So. Please do subscribe and uh, you'll get this tutorial when I publish it within the next couple of weeks or so.